If you've been tuned into the news of late and you've heard all the updates about 5G, the Spectrum auction, the winners, the bidders, sub 6 gigahertz, low to mid bands, all these frequencies can really confuse you when it comes to all that lingo. We at Tech Today want to break it all down for you. Over to you, Nabila. That's right, Ayush. In fact, I've been doing some research here and since there's so much being said about what 5G can really do, I thought it's important here to explain the tech perspective on this show. 700 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, 26 gigahertz. What are all these numbers, you may ask? Well, they're all different 5G frequencies which were up for auction right here in India. The 5G frequency bands up for auction were 600 megahertz, 700 megahertz, 800 megahertz, 900 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, 2100 megahertz, 2300 megahertz, 3300 megahertz, 3500 megahertz, and 26 gigahertz. An easier way to understand this here is higher the frequency, the more the speed. So the types of 5G are broadly divided into two categories, sub 6 gigahertz and mm wave. The sub 6 gigahertz band is further divided into low band and mid band. This low band operates very similar to 4G and in practice would give you a slightly better experience than your existing 4G connection. It's about to get interesting here with a much sought after mid band, so do stay tuned. This is a band where you can get speeds of up to 900 Mbps for a few blocks and works both indoors and outdoors. The best part about this band is the fact that no new infrastructure is really needed and telecom companies and hardware providers can tweak this existing 4G infrastructure for this which makes it a lot more cost effective. And then there's MM Wave or what we call the big boys band. Okay, maybe that part didn't quite work here as planned. But moving on, if 5G is all about ultra fast speeds and low latency networks, this band is where the magic really happens then. On paper, MM Wave Spectrum promises speeds of up to 10 GB per second. But in practice, we could at least expect a fraction of that, which would be still exponentially better than what 4G speeds really provides that we currently enjoy. Also, these signals are easily blocked off by walls and trees, hence providing limited coverage area. And FYI, there aren't too many smartphones yet that you can buy which support this type of 5G for now. It is important to note that the middle band of 5G is really where the sweet spot lies for Indian telecos and tech companies because it has the optimum mix of high speed and good range or coverage for consumers. The middle band offers mind-boggling speeds of 250 to 700 Mbps which is a huge upgrade from our current 4G experience. So if you are looking at buying a new smartphone and are already on Geo, Airtel or We Networks then it would be worth your while to check out which band of 5G offered on that device is really compatible with the coverage offered by your network. Let's just say there are interesting times up ahead with 5G and we're here to keep you updated on Tech Today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.